Guys, on 10 million subs on YouTube, is Hikaru doing a hot tub stream? Sure, there you guys go. If I hit 10 million subs on YouTube, I'll do a hot tub stream. Okay, I think I just... Okay, let's do this one and push about five. Gary has the potential to become a champion. Very funny. Let's go here. Let's take and play E6. Uh, two times faster than Chrome. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been using I've been using Brave for over a week now. No issues. Um, pr pretty good stuff. I mean, I can, I mean, I can even I can show you guys like, see like there you go. Like I mean, there you guys go. Zero 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 point eight zero bats. Also, whatever for whatever whatever that means. Um, and let's go Queen C seven and Castle. Let's go here. Oh, uh, thank you to Spanky, my monkey, for the tier one. Fabiano is playing. I didn't know if Fabiano was playing the next event. Yeah, see, the fact that Fabiano is playing the next event, it, it, it that, that I think says a lot. Thank you, Saw Monster, for the prime. Because what it shows, it shows that Fabiano, he clearly, um, he's 100% focused on the candidates tournament, and that was his goal. And now the candidates tournament is over. Um, I mean, clearly, he's doing you know, it. I mean, this is a little bit different. Okay, I think I go this way. King B7 and Rook C8. Let's go here. I might be losing here. I think this is wrong. I should have just gone Knight D5. It goes Rook C3. I think Queen A4 is just winning. Because now at least I can kick the Knight out of town. And go here. And it's not so bad. Let's go here. You sidestep it, rook d, rook, rook d8 next move. Okay, let's go here. Not even 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's pretty early here on the West Coast. It's still not, not super early. Goes a4. Um, there should be some way that I can play this. Um, hmm. It's tricky, though. Very tricky. Maybe I go... I can play E5 here. A5 is a move, but it's very, very shaky. Um, okay, if I'm not playing A5, what are the other moves? Queen D6, Queen A5 is bad. I think I'll just go here, maybe. Thank you to Emotelift for the $5. Thank you so much. Uh, love the stream. I've been wondering if you have been evolving your own game off stream. There's obviously so much we can see and things you probably keep secret regarding lines and tactics. Uh, somewhat. I mean, it's a mix. Thank you to Meek Fighter for the uh, 10 months. There's certain things that I definitely will not play online. I'll, I'll avoid certain openings and certain variations because I know I'm going to have to play against them in in the uh, online events. So there are some of that. There are certain things that I specifically avoid showing. I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to sack the Rook. I, I I don't know if it's right, but I'm just a little bit worried about the, this Knight and the problems with Queen A6. So I'm just going to sack, maybe play a positional sacrifice here. He takes a pawn. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I don't actually love that move because now he's gonna have to go knight c5, and now I take, and his bishop is worse than my knight. Let's trade. Um, and now I think I should be doing very well after rook b7. I've got a great knight against a bad bishop. Looks pretty good for me. Oh, that's why you don't play the bond cloud. Very funny. <laughs> Maybe I can even move the rook to e8 here or something. This looks very pleasant for me. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Kind of a mistake by my opponent because I have a great knight. He has a bad bishop. I've got an outposted knight. So his bishop is much worse than my knight here. All the, all the players are 2700 plus except Alan P. Show. 
Yeah, I mean that's kind of that was kind of the um, kind of the point that I. Uh, that's a free pawn. I'll take it. Oh, he's got rookie two. Oh, very stupid by me. Okay. I think I'll take the pawn now. I should be winning here, maybe. Okay, let's go a5 and get rid of the weakness. This is step one. Let's try to get rid of it. Okay, that's a free pawn. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's take and play bishop d3. Music, you should hear the music. Queen g3 is a move also, but it's just um, white just up a pawn in endgame, so that's why I didn't do that. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's play this exchange. Uh, okay, knight f3, I will take. Castle, rookie one, knight e5, of course. Bishop and knight checkmate is not easy, you guys. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry too much if you can't if you can't figure it out. It's difficult. How come every every game I play at a 700 accuracy, the opponent is roughly 96 to 100 percent move accuracy? Um, if the games are short, it, you 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 actually would expect really high accuracy, is what I would say. Um, if, if the games are short, that I, I think you should expect that. I'm gonna go here probably try to bring the knight in let's go here stop this thrust let's go b4 i take I, I can move the knight both ways actually here okay he takes this one so now i go this one a seven percent game with 97 accuracy yeah the shorter the game is the the easier it is to have perfect accuracy uh, it's not really rocket science there's a time check challenge uh did it bend it in three minutes i think if you memorize it, it you probably can do it in about i realize he just yeah he gets this night e4 if you, if you if you memorize it i would think probably you can do it in roughly give or take about 20 25 seconds let's go here and take maybe your picture in chess 24 youtube channel can can be an emote I don't know what that means, but anyway. Let's go. Guess he wants to go G5 at some point. Can take. I think I'm going to take and play like Queen F3, maybe. Want to go Queen F4, Knight E5. Do I think in a different way during a Blitz game in Class 1? Absolutely. You, um. You play more on field than you do in a um, in a classical game. Classical games, there's a lot more pure uh, pure analysis, pure calculation versus in a um, in a blitz game. There's a lot more of um, on the fly intuition. Like for example, I'll give you. Uh, I'll I'll probably tr I'll try to explain here in a second. Okay, so it's like here for example. If I had a lot of time to calculate these lines, I'd be like, well, I can take. I can also play c4. I can also play like g4. There there's so many different options of moves that I have here. But I'm just going to play this right away because I know that if he takes, I take. Okay, so he takes, so I take. He can't take, so he's taking, then I take, and I win because of the pin. Next event starts on Sunday. Thank you, Mission Accomplished for the Prime. Thank you to Vikes for the 23. Jake Nova, Germany for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hello from Mauritius, big fan. What do you what do you think about your last games versus Magnus? What blunders you made? You seem so much better at time. 
I mean, I, I tried to, I overpressed. I, I tried to win the match, uh, the second match in the third game. Um, as far as the first day goes, it was, it was pretty close, uh, but I just, you know, critical moments, I wasn't as good there either. The, the, I would say the, the second match, I was happy with. The first match, I was not happy with at all because I felt like try, trying to uh, win there was not that, that big of a mistake. Um, in that third game of the, of the of the second match, but the first day I felt that I really I, I the first day I I felt that I th that through is too strong a word to use, but I should not have lost the on the first day. Thank you to Twack Legacy for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Twack Legacy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, maybe I have some fancy schmancy here with the fossil. Yeah, very good against Magnus. I think the draw was crucial. I mean, again, I think the thing that happens, though, is it's, it's always easier in retrospect. That's the thing that really is frustrating with chess at times, like when you play matches especially, is because in retrospect, if I know what the third game was going to be like, then yes, of course, I should not have taken I should not have taken the draw in the second game. But it's like, it's you know, it's, it's always easier after after all is said and done. That's kind of, the, that, that's why chess is very frustrating at times. Okay, let's go here. I want to go knight h5, maybe. Uh, what do I think about that? Did they, uh, someone says Twitch upgraded their subscription prices? Wait, is that true? Let's go here. I'm going to go for the double stack. Let's go here. I want to go check and takes. Okay, bishop f5 is... I'm going to play the other one now. I'm going to play c5 this time. This is another line you can play. I think Oak Burger for the prime thing at 119j for the three months. I think I, I think I played the... Uh, I think I played the actual original one. I think when I was in Japan many years ago, I think I played the original Mario, Mario Kart, like 94 or whatever it was. Let's just go here in e6. Amaranth plays a lot of Mario Kart too. Okay, thank you. I think I was supposed to take actually. Okay, it goes there. Um, <clears throat> can obviously take. I can also play. I'm gonna go here, I guess. I would like to meet IRL. Shake hands, good sir. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully TwitchCon will happen sometime. I mean, who knows when, but one day it'll happen. I think it's squishy for the two. Thank you to OK Jarhead for the 17 months. Thank you so much to OK or Old Jarhead. Thank you for the 17. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nim is playing Mario Kart right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I have knight f5 here to harass the queen and then take the pawn on c5 here, so it should be pretty good. Can someone explain Nim to me? Yeah, Nim is a, a Swedish streamer. You've played in PogChamps. Uh, PogChamps won. He's um, uh, just, you know, a great streamer. Great personality. Did I own a Game Boy as a kid? No, I did not. Are we still still not allowed to embrace if we get to meet you? Uh, no, for a couple... I mean, first of all, there's COVID. Um, secondly, I honestly don't think the world's going to go back to the way that it was, to be honest. Um, uh, can I just trap his queen here? His queen just got trappy trapped. Oh, very poor queen. I think an emote LV3 for the five bucks. In your opinion, what's the worst game you ever played and why? Um, there are a couple different ones that come to mind. I would think probably the one that I talk about the most is a game against Magnus. Um... I don't get this Nim guy. All he does is he speaks about Forsen. Okay, I think that's a meme. Um, uh, yeah, what happened with Pokemon? Uh, what are you even talking about? Anyway, um, okay, so I take the queen. I move the king to f6, play e4 next to maybe queen c5. Um, I think e4 is just good. Knight e4, I trade and check, and I'm just winning. GG's, yo. Let's go check, take the bishop. Um, he resigns. Let's keep rolling. Okay, so um, let's see. 
Plays knight c3. Which line have I not played yet? I haven't played this line. This is this is not what you this is not what you do at, at home, so don't try this at home. But b5 is also a very kind of sketchy, weird line that you can play in the Karokan after knight c3 here on move three. Why did Google deny access to Alpha Zero? Because it's their proprietary software. Like, I mean, why would why would they share it? He plays Bishop G5, so I'll go here. I'll probably just cast the next move. I will not do a hot tub stream, you guys. Sorry, that's not my thing. I will say this: last night, you guys, I, I had um, last night was the first time by accident when I when I I know you guys are gonna you're, you guys are gonna mute on me for saying accident. You're gonna be like Kappa accident. Um, but I, I but I noticed Twitch actually suggested a hot tub stream, and so I went to it briefly for like one minute. I was just like I could not. I, I was like I was I could I was appalled that like Twitch, Twitch basically lets this happen because it's just it's insane. It, it's yeah, cap was right. Yeah, but I mean I saw it. I was just like, what on earth is Twitch thinking? I'm gonna play Bishop about five, maybe takes an IT seven. It is where that Twitch recommends it to new viewers. Yeah, I, I mean, I just, I, I don't, I don't get it. Considering what some some streamers have been banned for on Twitch, to me, it's insane. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna move the knight to b6 next move, maybe knight c4 at some point, maybe rook e8. I think I take with the h pawn, I could take with the f pawn, but I think I should capture towards the center for sure. I don't have a hot tub, no. It's all about the Benjamins. I think Twitch is gonna take 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 action on this meta very soon. Maybe. I mean, who knows? I mean, but yeah, I mean, I feel like it, I mean, Twitch, Twitch is 13 plus or it's 13 years old, right? It's not 18 plus. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Have I been banned? No, I've not been banned. Okay, I can just go here, I guess, trade some rooks. Okay, we're gonna take, we're gonna just take the pawn on the rim. We're gonna be greedy here. We're gonna be a pawn grabber and just trust that this A pawn will lead us to the promised land. Guys, on 10 million subs on YouTube, is Hikaru doing a hot tub stream? Sure, there you guys go. If I hit 10 million subs on YouTube, I'll do a hot tub stream because I'm never hitting 10 million subs on YouTube. Okay, there, you guys got it, okay? There, you got it. Okay, you got it. I'll take with a pawn. Let's go a4, a3. There's no way in a million years I'm, I'm getting to... There's no way I'm ever getting to 10 million subs. Literally not happening. Literally not happening. Uh, let's go b4. Let's take with a pawn. I'll wake up tomorrow with 11 million subs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no way. There's, there's no way I'm getting to 10 million subs on YouTube. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm only at, like close to 1 million. There's no way you guys Let's go here. Time to make 10 million accounts. <laughs> Let's take the pawn. Let's go queen C3. I mean, I, I maybe it happens, but I like it would have to happen. I mean, I don't, I don't see it happening. Based on, based on, based on the, I mean, like e even, like even someone like Levy, who's, who, who's, who's going to have more subs than I am on, um, 
on uh on youtube like even for him i think he has to have some insane average to get there like I, it's just it's not it's mathematically it's almost impossible unless unless we unless there's like some some kind of magic meta or something that's free queen if chess stays popular then you will i mean I mean, still, though, because, like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, I mean, I don't even know how many subs. I, I mean, I guess, like, because even, even in the last year, it's like, um, like, if you look at the subs, like, even Levy, who, who, who started much lower in this last year, he had, um, he had something like 200, 300, maybe, got 600 subs, 600K subs in a year, and that still is what? That's still, like, well over 10 years, even at that average. I don't think any, I don't think, I don't think it's realistic for anyone. Um, is what I would say. Let's go here and here in E6. It just seems it seems extremely unlikely to me. Go here. Hello, Hikar. You are a big inspiration. Cheers from Italy. Buonasera, uh, avoy. Um, okay, let's take with the pawn on on G7 here. Subscriber growth. My it's definitely not linear like that, but I, I would say it's like it's so impossible. I think the upper limit is like. I mean, of course, it could happen to me. It could happen to Levy. It could happen to anyone. But I would say upper limit if things go really well. I would say I would say out of this world, uh, like out of this world, real would be um, 500k. Levy's rates are not are, are not um, are not going to hold up though. That's the point because Le Levy's Levy's rates right now are based off where he started in 20, um, where he started uh, where he started this year. So his his rates not going to hold up that way either. Um, so that that's the thing, like. So like because Levy has a much shorter trajectory, it's it's showing it as as being where like it could happen like that, but it's not going to. Um, I mean even even Charlie, who's like an incredible like Levy, who's an incredible like incredible YouTuber. I mean obviously streamer on Twitch as well, but incredible YouTuber. Even he only has like eight million, and he's been grinding that thing out for like so many years. Um, so yeah, it's like it, it's. It is very, very hard. Content gets stale, my dude, at some point, so very improbable. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of... I kind of agree with that, too. Like, yeah. Oh, I said Levin instead of Charlie. Oh, I meant... I was saying Charlie, basically. Charlie's first video was 13 years ago. So Charlie's first video was 13 years ago and he's 8 million. I mean, see, like 13 years and he's got 8 million. Like, it's very, very hard. Like, that. that's, I mean, Char Charlie's been doing it forever. Crazy. Ironically, if, ironically, if you do a hot tip stream, you might reach 10 million. Yeah. I'll take the eight years over th over th eight million over thirteen years. Well, of course, I mean it's it's amazing, it's phenomenal growth. But I'm just saying it shows how hard it is to get to ten million. You know, Mike the Wap. But anyway, that's that's my deal with you guys. Um, hopefully, hopefully it will happen sometime before I'm sixty years old because no no one wa no one will want to see that. Um, but hey, like uh, let's go E five here. But who knows? It's good night C three. <laughs> Uh, let's go G4 and end up 92. Let's play the classic advanced car con. Hikaru at age 80 hits 10 million doing a hot tub stream. Now that's a mistake of Night F4. I think that's just a free pawn. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's just a free pawn. Did I shake the video yesterday? What video yesterday? Actually, I really liked what OTV did. I thought that was very, very creative by, um, by Toast to wear the, uh, wear the fake abs. Okay, I can move the knight here. I thought I had queen f3 also. Some kind of weird... I mean, maybe it's bad, but I'm going to try it, I think. Are there talks of Pog Chance 4? Yeah, Pog Chance 4 is going to be in, um... I believe they said in, um... 
Oh, wait, I've actually misplayed. Wait a second. That was Tango here, I guess. Oh, he's got this. What am I... Wait, I just blundered. What am I doing, actually? Maybe I have Queen F4, actually. Wait, let's go here. It's blundered. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. What about Dream who got more than 10 million subs in less than a year? Well, to Dream, Tommy, in it. I mean, Minecraft is just much different. Um, I'm making content on YouTube as well. So uh, I'm going to be doing some YouTube-only content pretty soon uh, on top of what, what I'm doing on Twitch. So that's, that's coming That's coming, That's coming. coming to a uh, to, to YouTube in the near future. Okay, this is not ideal, but I think I'm still a little bit better after H3. But yeah, mine, Minecraft is, I mean, Minecraft is Minecraft. What, what, what to say? I mean, Minecraft is just phenomenal. Uh, I can play Bishop F4. I can also just take and go King E2. I guess I'll just take and play an end game. It's even material. Thank you to Kutsub for the prime. Thank you to Kutsub. Let's go here. Bishop E3, Rook C1, all aboard. Oh, Pog Chance 4. Yeah, Pog Chance 4 is going to be in August, I believe. So it's very far away. Uh, it's not happening any any um, anytime soon. I'm going to play F4, F5, maybe. Okay, I, I want to close this so that I can just uh, try to take advantage of this pawn. Let's go here, maybe B4, Rook C7, X move. I think knight of four is just good. I hit the pawn here. I should have gone b4 first. Why didn't I go b4? Oh, now I gave him bishop. No, wait. Bishop b5, I just take. How did I get the nickname of the gangster of chess? That's Levon's nickname, not mine. Levon is the uh, Levon. Levon is calls himself the chess, the, uh, the like the original chess gangster. Let's go here. I'm gonna jump with a pony. I didn't expect before July anyway. I mean that's that's my understanding of when it's gonna be. I don't know for sure, but. I kind of don't know why I did that. I gave him this bishop move. Hmm. Let's target the pawn. Okay. Um, I've played the exchange. I've played the kind of the advance. I haven't played the fantasy variation, so I'll play the fantasy. How many left for one million? Uh, probably won't happen today, is my guess. But we're at um, we are at nine hundred ninety-seven thousand two hundred fifty-eight. So about twenty-seven fifty, two thousand seven hundred fifty. Basically, the same number of subs as my rating, more or less. <laughs> Can play e5 here, maybe. Maybe f4, maybe h4. Oh, wow. You guys are actually behaving. I was expecting that when I said that, you guys would all be like, Pago. You had been like, I was expecting a lot of Pagos when I said, like, same as my rating. But luckily, you guys are behaving. Let's play knight e2, knight f4 here. I guess I'll play, I really don't like f4, but I kind of have to do it. Or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Hyper Pago. That's, that's what it is. It's Hyper Pago. Okay. Let's go here and rotate the knight. Okay, I'm going to go G3. Just consolidate this pawn because it's a little bit weak here. Okay, let's go like back around maybe.
What was my rating when I was 12 years old? It was about 2300, I think, roughly. I was trying to play C5 here. Can play knight C5, maybe. I'm just going to move my rook. It's probably not right, but I'm going to do it. Let's go C3. Okay, he does C5, so I'll take. Let's go here. Show the live sub count, you'll get more subs. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I'll go here. 96 is coming. Maybe Chuck was better. Yeah, Chuck was definitely better than this. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll take. Okay, let's go. Um, like Rook C1, Rook C2. This looks really, really dangerous for Black. Maybe I go B3, Rook C2. No, and also, you guys, the last time I did that, actually, like, people people started unsubbing. So, um, I, I don't really I don't really feel like doing dealing with the whole carousel. My work on H is actually really good here, surprisingly, because now I can swing it. I go here and here. Yeah, you can unsub to channels. Of course you can. It's no different than, than following on Twitch. It's the same thing. It should be winning for me somehow. Have I seen the lineup? Yeah, I have seen the lineup. But it's going to be a fun event. Really looking forward to it. Let's go here. Oh, I should have gone to E2. So I had this move. But it's still probably good. I do have knight c6, maybe. When he was a knight. Okay, so we go in with knight c6. If a GM cheats in a tournament, then can Fide take back his GM title? Yes. In fact, in the case of GM Grandmaster Igor's Rousis, um, when he was caught cheating, they uh, they took um, they took away his title, so he has no title anymore. I'm going to make a bold prediction Magnus won't win this tournament. Um, yeah, I mean, who knows what will happen. Why would a GM cheat, though? Because chess is a very tough game financially. And um, as in the case of, of the player who, uh, who, who cheated, uh, basically, he was not making a great living from the game of chess. So he figured if he had a higher rating, he would have a chance to... Um, get more money for his coaching jobs if his rating was 2600 or 2650 he would get more money potentially uh like people always assume that in chess you're just super rich and it's like it's just like i mean it's, it's just not how it is let's go queen d4 Let me move my queen back his knight is really good on e4 here do i think kramnik kramnik did anything no that, that's total balagna that's complete balagna Play rook a1, hit the bishop on a3. I think I go... Oh, whoops. <clears throat> okay, now I go here, and I think I'm just collecting. Should be winning. Okay, I have to be a little bit careful. This knight is still a problem. So I'm going to bring my rook back. What am I doing, actually? Let's go here. Okay, I'm still better, but yeah. 